Hey yo guys, I'm Arlen King and today I'm going to be talking about why I've had bad luck with cars. So will you be glad to get rid of this car? Wait for it. So back in January 2017, I purchased a new vehicle. Um, unfortunately, by July 2017, said vehicle had died. I've already made a video on this one. I'll post a link up here for you guys so you can see it. Um, it's actually one of my uh, most popular videos on the channel. Clearly, everyone likes to watch someone's car breaking down. Unfortunately, though, my second vehicle, which was the backup one, has now come to an end of its life it's uh, struggling very much so I had the EGR valve replaced in February and unfortunately that didn't seem to help I had it randomly cut out down the motorway and it just seemed that not enough fuel was getting into the car or there's several lights that come on I had that fixed but unfortunately the uh, car was still stuttering left right and you'd be driving and all of a sudden <laughs> and you just suddenly be jolted forward and it'll just keep on randomly doing that um, such to the point where the wife has now decided not to drive it she's got really upset with the vehicle and she didn't deem it safe especially when we've got a little in in the back I'm done driving it not safe for me or my baby <laughs> Okay. We also had some other work done on it. Uh, we've spent about £400 so far on this the car this year and we've decided to call an end. So we have gone and purchased a new vehicle and we are going to be picking it up on Thursday. But you know what? We'll skip straight to the Thursday and we'll show you what the car is. Yeah, so we've purchased a Vauxhall Insignia 1.4. Now, the Insignia isn't normally a car I'd go for, seeing as I'm such a big fat Mazda fan. However, the Insignia does have a lot of the similar characteristics of the Mazda 6. It's a fairly big car, so it has five spacious seats for five adults. It also has ISO fix for the child seat. So the really weird thing with this vehicle is the 1.4 engine. Um, usually I would completely boycott getting a 1.4 engine in such a big vehicle. However, because they've added a turbo to it and it's a petrol, it seems to be getting reasonable performance. Now, by no means is it's a fast car, but it seems to be at least keeping up with um, two litre diesel, or which is turbo. So um, I'm quite happy with that. Of course, I haven't really driven it yet. So the test drive may have been skewed somewhat, but I'll um, let you know as time goes on. One of the things we did with this vehicle, just to safeguard ourselves from other mishaps, like in previous vehicles, we've bought a three year used car warranty. If anything goes wrong, we should be covered. We've also um, diamond brighted the vehicle. Uh, so this is where they remove any wax and stuff that's been on the car previously and put a sealant over the top to protect it from stone chips, bird poo, etc. Um, but also as part of this, they seal the seats. So the seats are material, not leather. And this is meant to form a, some kind of seal over the seat. So it means if any liquid gets spilt, especially as soon as we've got a little one, the seat should be covered and that's a lifetime warranty with that so I'm looking forward to seeing how that works out I've never done it on previous vehicles but hopefully this one should be a good case scenario why did we get the insignia uh, we got it because it was a, a medium sized vehicle it's a little bit bigger than a medium size actually but smaller than a large it's not quite as long as the Mazda 6 I think it's under 5 meters it's 4.8 meters I believe it has a big boot over 500 liters of storage space which is good I quite prefer the hatchback style as well as uh, as opposed to the saloon come with alloys we did look at uh, a Volkswagen Jetta actually when we went to the garage but 
alas it was a very basic model just to have hubcaps um, no bells and whistles um, this one does have things like cruise control an arm rest um, a foot rest and uh, I think it has Bluetooth phone not music but all those little things do add up to making the car a little bit more comfortable to drive the one thing that I'm a little bit wary of and that is it does have an electric assisted handbrake now I've never used one of these before and I've heard some really dodgy things about cars rolling down hills and things like that so I think we're gonna stick with leaving the car in first gear when we park it up but I'm certainly interested to see how it works on my first hill start if I'm stuck in traffic especially seeing as we have a really steep hill down uh, a local road here which is used on our way to work every day so hopefully I'll master that quite quickly really not familiar with the Vauxhall range so I'm hoping they don't disappoint and other than that guys if you have any questions or if you've got an insignia please let me know what your experience has been with it hopefully good if it's a bad experience probably don't tell me because otherwise I'll be really upset but thanks for watching guys and um, I'll keep you posted on my car journey hopefully this one will last further than July 2018. Anyway, catch you later guys, peace. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe guys. Come on, really appreciate the support.